In this session, we are considering 15 puzzle problem which is falling in the algorithm category branch and bound. You know that in case of 15 puzzle problem, this is a problem where having 15 tiles are there and tiles are numbered from 1 to 15 and that is one empty spot. The empty spot can move left, right, up and down otherwise the tiles can move in this way so that we can have the different arrangement of this particular board condition. So this is the goal arrangement we are having. So what will happen from the very starting state or the starting arrangement we are supposed to do the moves so that we can reach to the goal arrangement in a shortest path. Actually it is a problem which is a permutation problem that means here we can have 16 factorial permutations we can have 16 factorial permutations which is nothing but this number of arrangements are there possible from any initial state half of this arrangements are possible to reach if you consider the state space that will be the huge and as a result of that just going for trying to reach to the goal node from any initial state or any initial board condition is a very difficult job for us. So we should have some heuristic, we should have some uh, estimate with the help of which we can reach to the goal node very easily. Let us suppose it is our initial board position and here you can have up, down, right, left moves. Up move means the empty spot will be going in the up, so 3 will come down, rest tiles will have the same place. Down means the empty spot will go down, so 6 will go up and rest of the tiles will have the same placements. So now right means the empty spot will go to the right, so 5 will come, come, uh, come here at this particular place, so it will be the board position and similarly for the left. So in this way we can have say 4 children against this particular node. So this particular, this particular node can have 3 children because the empty spot can go down, it can go right or it can go left. But while forming its children, I should not consider empty spot is going down. So down move will not be here because if you go for the down move, then this particular boat condition will be repeating as one of the children. So as a result of that, when up move, using up move, I'm getting this particular board condition, then this board position should not have the down move and here also it should not have any up move uh, board condition or board um, state. So similarly we will be drawing. But what about the thing is that the state space will have will be considering so huge, so many different board positions will be there and to get the goal node will be a problem for us. So during this for, for to solve this particular problem, we should apply some heuristic so that we should not branch all the possible board arrangements. We should bound some of them. If I find this one is most promising using that particular technique, then I shall go for bound for some of the children. I shall branch it and then, then its most promising children will be there and then out of them I shall branch one of them and rest of them will be bound. So that in my game state space tree, I need not to expand each and every node available. And obviously that will require a huge memory space if you don't do that one. So that's why this problem is coming under the category branch and bound. So I can suggest one, one such heuristic here. You see, this is my estimated cost. When I'm writing something estimated, I'm putting this cap there. So Cx, C cup x is the estimated mean cost to reach to the gold node and fx means is the length of the path from the root to the node x. So that is the number of moves I require to, uh, to come to this particular node x from the root and g cap x is an estimate of length of a shortest path from x to a gold node in the subtree with root x. That means the number of estimated paths I require taking this one as a root in its subtree. So that is my case. One possible choice of g cap x is g cap x is equal to number of non-blank tiles 
not in the gold position. So whatever you have discussed, I shall be using this one in our next video when I shall draw the straight space tree for this particular uh, board arrangement for this particular 15 puzzle problem and I shall find out the most promising child out of all possible children against a certain board condition board arrangement and from there I shall uh, branch and I shall try to get my gold node as soon as possible with minimum number of moves. Please watch the next video where we are going to apply this branch and bound algorithm in our on this particular problem that is a 15 puzzle problem. Thanks for watching this one.